Okay, so our presentation is Comic Strip Conversations, and um, Comic Strip Conversations are used uh, to teach social, social skills for kids with autism. Um, it depicts some kind of conversation that has happened to the child in, in real life, um, and it's basically you use um, like stick drawings to make a comic strip conversation between two or more people using just really simple drawings. And the point is that it's supposed to slow down the conversation so that um, the client can kind of process what happened and then come up with a solution or alternate. yeah, an alternate way to approach the situation in the future. So general steps that you as a clinician would take with a client would be keeping in mind what their goals are, what we're targeting during this conversation that they're having with a peer, um, removing the child from the situation and finding a place where you can um, talk about and write out the script of what's happening. Um, you want to be side by side with the client, making sure that you're there um, going through the, the dialogue with them. And then you also want to encourage them to include the people and the locations, mm -hmm. um, the conversation, how it happened and what happened, and always try to, at the end as a clinician or the SLP uh, give ways that are positive that might be the alternate, as Raina said, the alternate um, scenario or event that could happen. Mm -hmm. So we're just gonna show how we would we would use it uh, to make the scenario. So there's some, um, just before we get started, there's some, if you, if the scenario has happened and the client isn't really coming forth about what exactly had happened, they're having trouble explaining to you what has happened, there's some basic prompting questions um, that Carol Gray, who like created this method, um, uses across like situations which are like very intuitive. Like, where were you? Who else was there? What were you doing? What did you say? What did the other person say? So it's, it's very simple, natural type of questions. And then lastly, just before that, a couple mm -hmm. things to keep in mind also is um, you can set a color coding method with the client. So different colors may mean different emotions or different things that happen during the scenario. Um, be, you can use it right after the negative event happens so it's fresh in their mind and they're able to tell you exactly what happened. And then um, having the child or the client be able to do it on their own. So they're taking the lead on drawing the pictures and telling you the emotions and expressions and feelings that they're having. Yep. Okay, cool. So, our scenario. So, um, so I was attempting to talk with my friend Katie, um, and we're just going to say we're like, I don't know, what, middle school girls. Yeah. Um, and I wanted to talk about something, and she was talking about something else. So, basically, um, I wanted to talk about the finding Dory movie and she was telling me about the fair so I interrupted her and she walked away um, because she didn't like how I interrupted and ignored what she was talking about. So I got upset and now we're gonna process the scenario using the um, comic strip conversation. Perfect. So uh, first let's talk about what <laughs> happened during the, what did you want to talk about when you were with Katie? Um, well, I was thinking about how I wanted to talk about finding Dory. Okay, so let's draw you, this is Serena, and this is Katie. So you wanted to talk about finding Dory. Right. So you would write. I want to talk about finding Dory. Perfect. And then, what did Katie tell you? Well, Katie was talking about the fair, but that's not what I wanted to talk about. I see. So, from what I heard, Katie said the fair was really fun for her, right? Yeah. Yeah. She said that? Okay, so let's write what she said in this box. The fair was so much fun. Perfect. And then, so, after that, mm -hmm. after she said that, what did you say? Um, well, I told her that my favorite character from Finding Dory is Nemo. Nemo, I see. And, yeah. and how do you think she felt? Because she walked away, right? Well, I, but I wanted to talk about Finding Dory, though. I see. But she walked away, so let's talk about maybe how she was feeling. Was she sad or maybe angry? Maybe. Maybe angry? Yeah, she didn't, yeah, I don't think she was happy. Okay, so let's get the red marker, and we'll put right here, red equals angry. And let's write about maybe what she thought when you told her about finding Nemo, or finding Dory. She maybe said, that's rude, right? Or she maybe still wanted to talk about the fair. So yeah. let's write that. Okay. 
I'm still talking about the fair. That was rude. Yeah. Perfect. So now let's think about what we could do for her not to walk away. So what would be, so I want you to remember things that maybe will, what will help her stay talking to you. Okay. Uh, talking about what she wants to talk about. Okay. So first, maybe we should talk about what she wants to talk about, which mm -hmm. was the, the fair. And then maybe we can ask her if she wants to talk about finding Dory. Finding Dory, which is what you wanted. Okay. So let's, let's talk about, let's put it in our thinking bubble. Okay. So first we talk about the fair, then we can talk about finding Dory. Perfect. Okay. What can you tell her then during that? Um, I really like the Ferris wheel at the fair. Perfect. What, we're still talking about the fair. So that means she will be happy, happy that we're talking about the, the, fair. the fair. Okay. So let's write in green. Green is going to equal happy. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. So she might say, I like that ride too, maybe. Right? So in green, let's write what she would say. So I like the Ferris wheel too. Perfect. And then what do you think she's thinking about? She's probably happy because we're talking about the same thing. Perfect. So she might say, oh, we're both talking about the fair. Mm -hmm. So in her thinking bubble right here, we mm -hmm. can write. We both have gone to the fair. Perfect. And then after that, we can tell them that maybe next, the next topic would be talking about finding Dory because mm -hmm. she kept in the same conversation as her friend. Yeah. So then you could, you can continue so you can make as many like little cartoon type of boxes as appropriate for the situation. Right. We just did two to keep it simple, but you could do more scenarios of how you could play it out in the future, or you could do more scenarios of what might your friend say that's different. Um, and then, like she said, you can... You can talk about what would happen next so that you would still get your your reward of talking about what you wanted to talk about. Right. So next, you can ask her, have you seen Finding Dory? Mm -hmm. And then you can play that situation out too. So the first conversation ended and now you're moving on to the next one. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay.